up, peeps? It's your girl, Dodge Come Back and Real Takes. Well, it's that time I got this horse short time. This one is titled The Shack. Now, before I get into it, I'm excited because this is another um, independent horror uh, film platform that I um, came across on YouTube. I'm excited because, as you all know, I love me some horror and I love to showcase different horror short films that I come across from other actual independent uh, horror platforms as well. So this one will be added to the bevy of the others and I will make sure to be checking out more videos from them through their channel. So that title with that alone, <laughs> it definitely already gave me that type of vibe. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's see if there was some thoughts at the new guys. You'll be quick, huh? he 
didn't. Jesus, really? That place is still standing? Why don't you just build a new one? I've been asking myself that question for years. I can't tear it down. It's always been a part of this land. It's sacred. Hank, cut the shit. The place has been there for at least a hundred years. It's time. This always gives me the creeps. You can still be going up in there, though. Hey, <laughs> Hank, I don't like being up here. There's something. Christ, Caleb. Would hurry to call me dad for once. Look, I, I'm sorry. Something I've been needing to tell you. Well, it ain't gonna be easy. There's a good reason why you're here. This land is, uh... What are you trying not to tell me? Our family, they are. Uh, hell, my daddy. If you don't get the words out, took me out here when I was your age to teach me. We have to take care of this land, son. We have to feed it. Uh huh. There it is, right there. We have to feed it. Be around forever. You see his face, buddy. You better than me. I wouldn't have went up there. Once he said this is creepy, I'm like, you know what? That's all right. Was that? Follow oh, me, boy. Do as I say. Stay close behind. Be quiet.
Saving tears.
brutal. Alright you guys, I enjoyed this horseshit. First I want to shout out to the director, uh, writer and editor <laughs> of this, uh, Dark Hoffman. Now with this story, I really enjoyed this one with the simple fact that it all centers around this land. We're dealing with a gentleman, you know, you see of course at the beginning where one of his friends, um, the gentleman's name is actually Hank, his friend is, you know, meeting up with him, got the beers and all that, and you see that this shack that's on probably the, 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 the land in the back. Now, mind you, he's acting a little weird, you know, at the beginning, like, no, this, 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 you know, making these little comments and all that, and all of a sudden, it just kind of stops, you hear all these little whispers and all that. Definitely dramatic, the music very suspenseful. When he gets up there and all, I'm assuming you see, like, a glare, I don't know if it's from the radio and all that, and it kind of puts him in some sort of trance where he ends up pretty much, you know, assaulting his friend, but I'm thinking his friend's going to make it out, hence, nope, <laughs> being that he had actual weapon up there to kind of stop him, which was really the weapon he came with I kept saying I think I made a comment like is there something I don't know if it was a part of the dart or whatever that showed out um, might have been some sort of poison something all that it was you know making him you know slow down when he was trying to run away but it could have been from the head trauma so just me just thinking kind of out of left field with that but the fact remains is that once he's there you know <laughs> I'm thinking he's like you know it won't be long you know and then I'm like, won't be long, like, what, you know, what's going on? Unbeknownst to me, which you're seeing some sort of whatever creature coming out of the woods, grabs my leg, whatever, you hangs him up. But then you see how he is, of course, you know, killed, you know, the body kind of flipped back. and just like, oh, my God. But then after this, that part happens, you see the scene of Hank kind of coming out of the trance and it's like the screaming all that like unbeknownst to him what is about to happen go down and mind you with that being said me thinking overall whatever is happening on uh these grounds on this land you know sitting around the shack you know it seems to take hold you know of him at times you know he pretty much somewhat kind of lets it be known when you see him with his son now mind you at first when he said you know hank you know i don't know where he's like you know what he's like caleb He's like, you know, for once you call me, call me dad. And I'm like, okay, because I'm like, what in the world? <laughs> I'm just like, all right, it's fine. It's just whatever. But then him having to explain, because he's like, you know, this is still back here. Why is this here? He's like, I thought you got this, you know, you know, gotten rid of this and all that. And he's like, it's a hundred years and all that. I, I, I still ask myself this. And I'm like, you do? I was not here, you know, for him as we saw from the first part. Because, of course, at first I'm thinking, okay, I can understand, you know, you part probably out of, out of your mind, this, things, and that, and the other. But then with this instance, this being your son, and you explain the situation of the understanding of what centers around this land and why things are happening. And it's like, I won't be around for long. You have to continue making sure you're, it needs to be fed. And, you know, it's some probably wondering, what are you talking about? I'm like you really are having this conversation with him now mind you i could understand because my if he does you know do what he wants to do to kind of stop this whole situation from happening it's kind of hard it's been happening for hundreds of years you know pass down pass down the story is finally told and then if he does that whatever his son will just continue it you know and then with another family member can't get rid of the land if anybody else was to get it and murders start happening god forbid you know just really reaching outside of what's in the short you know horse short but the fact remains is when he goes out there and you see what happens and he tried to change it and his son is grabbed and you see uh i think she's called the great mother she's like oh no like these have been happening for so long you know we're not going to change the overall dynamic of this you know especially knowing what she was going through and how they were going to kill her but then you know she said you know the 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 the, the great ones you know saved her and then they kind of some sort of alliance and all that and then in the instance of this happening this is kind of where things have now stood all these years of how they pretty much deal you know with the situation of you know somewhat granting if you will this creature what it wants by feeding it giving it you know a human a human you know a human body for the flesh but the fact remains is that all of a sudden you know when he's having his moment because i was like save the tears i'm just like i'm not really here but i'm like are you kidding me you pretty much put your child in harm's way you could have had a conversation in the house you took him back to the shack to explain this unbeknownst and it will come out like you know stay close to me this is not another to set up as if you're still not realizing you're still putting yourself but definitely your child then you see what happens you know he ends up getting in a situation where 
uh, she has the son, like, you know, they, you know, brought me back, you were on, then he ends up getting stabbed, you know, with that particular kind of like a knife, sword knife type of thing, whatever, no, definitely integral. I love um, the look of that. But I like how I wasn't expecting it. I thought he was just going to die and she was going to go, you know, walk away with him and then that was just going to end. Oh, no, he decided, you know, you're not going to have either one of us if, if, if I'm going to die with him and all that. You know, I'd rather my son be with me and I'm going to make sure. But you see what happens to her, but then you see what happens to his son. Then why he's holding him as if something kind of took over him. So I'm just curious. These are the ones. And it was a lengthy one for a horse short. I tell you, when they are short, you always want more. But this one was rather long. But I love the overall storyline. I love this one a lot. That is it. When the sun said this is, you know, that's what I, it just creeps me out going to that. That would have been my cue to leave. <laughs> but we got to progress the story. So I'm always here uh, for that. But yes, this one is really, really, really good. Now, see, now let me go to see some space or I'm somebody's home and they have some sort of shack in the back. I'm just think automatically about this like you know what nah you know let me stay you know close to the house <laughs> i don't want to go out there you know but yes this one i truly did enjoy so with that said you guys comment below let me know what you think and with that said i'll see you guys in the next short you guys take care